holiday season, a 20-year-old from Henniker is preparing to make a very generous donation, all in the hopes of saving someone's life. The next few days of Forrest Anderson's life will be intense. It's finals week for the 20-year-old business student who also balances a bank teller job. And this Friday, he'll be donating bone marrow to help save the life of someone he doesn't even know. All I know is that she is a 20-year-old girl um, with leukemia. This all started two months ago when Anderson attended a fundraiser for Abel Martin. Little Abel is a two-year-old from Goffstown who's been battling a rare form of leukemia. People who attended his fundraiser were encouraged to register as bone marrow donors. Anderson happily obliged. And I just got swabbed randomly. Um, and I, I, everybody was doing it. I was like, sure, like, why not? And then a couple months later, I got a call that I was a match. And um, they asked me if I wanted to go forward with it. And I was like, of course. The bone marrow transplant will be this Friday and is expected to take about eight hours. I guess it's similar to like dialysis, like I'm hooked up a machine and I'm awake, I'm next to a bed and they just filter out my blood and they take what they need and then they put it back in me and it just takes a bit, so. There will also be a period of recovery. Um, I believe like there's like three to four days of like flu-like symptoms, um, which is fine. I mean, I'd rather suffer through the flu and somebody else gets to have a second chance. But Anderson says he's ready for the procedure and excited this holiday season to help give the gift of life. I would want somebody to do the same thing for me. Um, so if you have the opportunity to save somebody's life, I don't, know, I don't think there's a reason why you shouldn't go forward. And Forrest Anderson is hoping to one day meet the 20-year-old woman receiving his bone marrow. There is a required waiting period of at least one year before that can happen, though, and both the donor and patient must consent to be contacted.